Hey guys, how are you doing? If you are unable to change your Apple ID, country or region settings and you are facing this type of error, there are four possible errors that we are going to discuss in this episode. Then we will see the possible reasons why you are unable to change the country and region settings uh, for your Apple ID and some fixes that will help you to successfully change the country or region. All right. The very first possibility is when you go to settings and navigate to your Apple ID iCloud profile and when you tap on subscriptions, if there are any active subscriptions then you won't be able to change your country or region for your Apple ID. The main reason that I think that Apple restricts you from changing the country or region is when you activate a subscription for a specific app you use different currency and the app is separately available for that particular app store. Not every app is available globally on all countries app store. For some reason you know for some governments normally ban certain apps and some app developers don't allow all the apps to be listed on all the countries. Some government specific applications or country specific applications available only on that country specific app store. So when you have an active subscription, you won't be able to renew it in different currency. And that could be the reason that they want you to cancel the subscription and complete the day. You know, the subscription should not be active. It should be expired in order to change country and region settings for your Apple ID. The second possible reason is family sharing. If you are in a family sharing account, your Apple ID is added to a family sharing account, then it is not possible possible for you to change the country or region. Only the family owner have the permission to change the country or region because again the currency, the credit cards, you know all the payment associated information connected to your family owner account. So it is not possible for you to control Apple ID settings and country or region is also an important part of it. You have to stop using family sharing only then you will be able to change the country or region for your Apple ID. And the third important reason is you should not have any balance in your Apple ID. If you have recharged your Apple ID with some balance you should use it fully you should make it to zero and if you have like even 0.01 rupees or dollars or in whatever the currency you are using you won't be able to change the country or region because the currency you are using is not transferable to different country or regions app store and you you will not be able to buy or download any or make any in-app purchases or buy any subscriptions so that is important and the fourth important reason is if you have any active pre-orders in your Apple TV or iTunes store then it is not possible to change your Apple ID. I know it sounds crazy but are technically correct you know like this particular product or application or subscription is assigned to a specific country by the developer and it uses certain countries currency. So that could be the possible reason why you are unable to change it to different country whenever you need it. You need to let it expire. You need to let the pre-order complete or you need to cancel the pre-order completely and then you will be able to change your Apple ID country and region settings. So these are the four possible reasons. Make sure to check the error why you are unable to change it. In this screenshot you can see you have one or more pending store credit refunds. Like when you try to add any balance to your Apple ID and it is not yet added and you are trying to change the country or region then it is good to wait for three to four days. Normally the refund will be completed within two to three days but give four days time and if it's still there are issues with the refunds not getting completed associated to your Apple ID then it is must to talk to Apple customer care. They'll be able to clear any pending refunds and then give like 12 hours or some extra time and then try changing your country and region. A simple restart of your iPhone can also help sometime if you are sure that all the four conditions have been cleared and you're good to go. So I hope this video helped you to understand the country and region setting errors and fixes. All the best for you to change your Apple ID successfully. Thank you and have a wonderful day.